Today I am sharing exactly what you need to do to get from six figures to seven figures. Hi, I'm Kath from KathKyle.com and I am the creator of the Millionaire Mindset Takeover course and I help entrepreneurs to improve their mindset so that they can set themselves up for success. And if this sounds like the kind of thing that you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video if you are liking it. So let's get started. So here are eight secret steps to a seven figure business owner mindset. So although you do need a good strategy to reach seven figures, what you really need is the mindset of a seven figure figure business owner to really succeed. So they say that you can hustle your way to six figures, but when it comes to seven figures, what got you here won't get you there. So when seven, six figure, figure business owners turn inwards and develop the mindset of a seven figure business owner. They reach their goals much faster than anyone could actually imagine. And it's not always obvious what seven figure business owners are doing differently to six figure business owners. And that's because most of it is hidden away in the mind. So here are the eight steps to a seven figure business owner mindset. Most of the long term six figure earners hold this particular belief that they already have what it takes to bring their businesses to the next level. But unfortunately, most of them don't. And the thing is that scaling a business, it doesn't always reciprocate in terms of profit. And you might resort to business expansion, but still remain stuck in the same six figure income. And many business analysts see that there are far more things to do to get to that seven figure status. And most of them involve steps as trivial as cultivating the right mindset and setting up a vision for success. So today I'm going to show you exactly how it's done and why each point contributes to your seven figure profit revenue dream. So number one, what we need to do is begin with a vision. Every successful seven figure business starts with long term vision for their company. It's really hard to grow a business of seven figures without thinking at least five years into the future. You can't adopt a let's just see what happens attitude towards your business when you're working at these kind of levels. And if you've never set a long term vision for your business, I really encourage you to do that right now. So where would you like your company to be in five years? Where would you like your company to be? in 10 years or even 20 years. So really dream big right now. So think outside of the box and write it down. Read it aloud twice a day and really believe that this is what you are working towards and it's exactly going to happen like this. And this is exactly what I did to get to six figures and it only took me a few months once I started doing this exercise. So keep going with it and don't give up as long as you still feel like it's your purpose to pursue this particular business. And don't worry, you can change your mind, but as long as you still feel like it's your passion, I really encourage you to do this exercise twice a day because it really, really works. Number two, become a seven figure business owner. So what do I mean become one? How do you just become one? So if you want to reach seven figures in your business, you need to start asking yourself, what would a seven figure business owner do? What would they think? How would they behave? What would they wear? And if you're not sure the answer to these questions, go looking for a seven figure business owner in your niche and have a look at their Instagram account, read their biographies, watch their YouTube videos, subscribe to their email list, and soon you'll find someone that you can resonate with. A lot of people share their mindset secrets in their biographies, so it's well worth reading it. And then what you need to do is create a new version of yourself, incorporating some of these ways of being, ways of acting, ways of thinking, and perhaps give yourself a nickname. Like for example, because my name is Kath Kyle, it could be KK 2.0. And then literally step into that version of yourself, that new version. So you are now the owner of a seven figure business and you can immediately start to think like one and act like one. And once you do this, your reality will have a way of catching up with you with your new belief system very, very quickly. It's a really, really positive exercise to do. And I did this and it absolutely worked for me. Number three, 
embrace a positive attitude towards growth. Napoleon Hill was famous for saying, what the mind can conceive, it can achieve. And this is especially true in business. You need to psych your mind into believing that you can achieve everything you need to get that coveted seven-figure income. Even the Harvard Business Review reiterates this by stating that a growth mindset is an essential quality an entrepreneur should have. You should view growth not as a risk, but more as an opportunity to upgrade your existing income. So always develop an attitude that never shies away from the future's uncertainty. After all, we never really know what awaits us if we don't give it a chance. Granted, upscaling and expansion are often scary, but with the right attitude, you can conquer this fear. But even if you're confident that your niche will last more than a few years, you'll need to have a positive growth attitude to reach a better income bracket that will cement your presence in the business industry. So just really, really believe that you have what it takes, that your business has what it takes. You need to be certain that your business is going to succeed to really make this happen. Number four, update your business strategy. So hustling is what gets a lot of entrepreneurs to six figures, but this alone won't get you to seven figures anytime soon. What you need to do is make a plan that you intend to earn this kind of money at a specified time frame with equally specific goals and an updated business model. So unlike hustling, the mindset of a seven figure business owner should be one that leverages their resources to maximize and streamline their business activities. Also, you should incorporate into the strategy not only the internal aspects of the business, but the well-being of your customers as well. Today's businesses put an emphasis on client retention and market outreach. And this, you may come up with an innovative approach to perform these tasks effectively. Number five, act upon your seven figure vision. So a plan without an action is just a dream. So therefore you should never fail your strategy by not acting upon it to the letter. For many business owners, execution is the most difficult part and rightly so. And this is because situations may arise that might force you to swerve from your actual plans. And they come in the form of poor investment decisions and temporary emergencies. But to become that seven figure earning, earning entrepreneur, you should know when to make adjustments and when to stay firm with your goals. Otherwise, if you keep saying yes and commit mindlessly to everything, you'll find yourself stuck in your six digit hustling business. So you need to stick to your business plan and not go saying yes to everything under the sun. Number six, revamp your systems. You might feel like the word systems is really boring, but it will get you to success. The path to a seven figure business is paved by an efficient system. Want to know why? It's because it streamlines your business activities, making more room for your schedule by maximizing important routines. For example, if you keep doing the same task, you can simply create a system that simplifies the process for everyone concerned. And as a result, it will minimize mistakes and reduce backlogs that hinder your business from upscaling and expanding. Systems create efficiency, which in turn increases your team's productivity. So I've always had great systems for my business and it help, really helps to outsource your work to other people if you create effective systems so they can just get on with the job and it frees up your time for doing higher level work in your business for overseeing the management of your business so you don't concern yourself with the day-to-day -day, um, activities involved in your business. So systems are really, really important. Number seven, invest in your team's talents. A good seven figure business system would be nothing without a team of highly skilled individuals. Even if you're hiring only a few employees or team members, it pays to invest in exceptional people. And at first it may cost you a lot to keep them in the team, but soon with consistency and positive results, you'll realize that it's all worth it for your business. For every successful entrepreneur, there is a staff of talented individuals who make things easy for the owners to achieve their business goals. So don't hesitate to invest in your team's training as soon as you find them indispensable for your business. And I would really encourage you to hire a team as soon as you're able to, one person at a time. There are people who have managed to get to seven figures just working on their own without even hiring a single team member. But these people are 
probably really stressed out, really deprived in terms of happiness, in terms of work-life balance, and their business is 100% reliant on them, which means they can never take a break, they can't go um, on vacation, they can't do anything fun, That um, and I, I am all about working less, enjoying your life, and hustling less. So for that reason, I really encourage you to hire out as much as you possibly can one step at a time with your business, starting with something like customer services and uh, scheduling social media posts. Number eight, set yourself up as an authority. The secret to fast tracking to a seven figure income status is having the guts to position yourself among the pioneers and authorities in your niche. If you've already achieved a six figure income, this shouldn't be difficult. All you have to do to be confident in and capitalize on your market presence is communicate the right message to your client base, create a movement, maintain your business credibility and seek social proof. Through reviews and testimonials, you can easily establish authority in your niche that will set your business apart. And this translates to more income and eventually a seven figure earning status. Basically, you have to act like you are running a seven figure business. So how would the seven figure business behave? You need to be the leader of that seven figure business and you need to demonstrate that your business is professional and that you care about your customers and that you want to convey the right reputation and the right message to your clients and your audience. So next steps, now that you've got the tools to get your mind in the right place for success, you might be looking for the right tools your online business needs for success. And I have a free gift that will give you all of the tools that I use in my business to create a completely passive income. So you can click the link below or you can go to the blog post and get that link and I'll leave a link to both underneath this video. So you um, may have achieved a six figure business and congratulations if you have, um, but um, it is time for, to do something different to get yourself to seven figures now. So using the steps above, there are still some hope that one day your business will soar higher and before you know it, you'll be rubbing elbows with industry leaders. And it may take time to materialize, but the sheer dedication and cultivation of a seven figure business owner mindset, you can achieve what your mind has already conceived. And I would love it if you would like this video, leave a comment on this video, let me know what stage you're up to with your business. Do you see yourself as a seven figure business owner? Has any of these tips been helpful to you? And um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care.